Hey there, welcome to part three of the MQTT series, part of easyprogramming.net. Today we will bridge two MQTT brokers, one internal and one external to our network. This will allow us to publish MQTT messages to a broker on the internet without ever exposing our internal network to the outside world. I have a little diagram of here of what I'm hoping my end product will look like. So I'll have an app, an IFTTT app. Uh, I wanna do some voice uh, commands with my Google Homes um, and my Google devices. It will be hosted on the same server, most likely, as my MQT, as my external MQTT broker, um, which will bridge to my internal MQTT broker. So my internal broker will subscribe to messages from the external one, and my internal devices will subscribe to my internal MQTT broker. So this setup allows me to push messages directly to my internal MQTT broker uh, if I'm home. It'll be much faster. I don't have to wait for a round trip to a website to an MQTT broker and then back. Um, but if I'm ever not home, I wanna open my garage door for somebody else. Uh, if you know they don't have a key, they don't have anything, I can publish to my external MQTT broker and it will uh, it will open, it will clear, uh, open up my lights. So that's one of my reasons. And you know, I have Home Assistant running, I wanna keep that local. So the first thing you'll need to do is uh, if you haven't already set up, you know, Mosquito uh, on your Raspberry Pi, on your local machine, doesn't have to be Raspberry Pi. Uh, you can follow these steps on any Debian system uh, and it should work. Uh, do that now. The other thing is that you'll need some kind of external uh, server to run MQTT. So I decided to use DigitalOcean. DigitalOcean is, uh, is is fairly simple. You can also use AWS if you wanna use um, Google Cloud Platform or Azure. It should work as long as you have access to the shell and you can install stuff um, as root and I have that set up here and I have mosquito installed you know I followed my own tutorial so if I do service mosquito status uh, mosquito is running so and I have my Raspberry Pi set up here which also has mosquito status is also running so in the last video I showed you how to edit the Mosquito configuration to set up uh, a password. And for that, you go to Mosquito, and you have the Mosquito.configuration. So the password file is still here from before. We're gonna, re we're gonna edit this again to enable bridging. So we'll do sudo nano mosquito.configuration, and we will add some items to the bottom. Just like last time, I mentioned that you can get everything you need from the Mosquito manual so if you go here if you just you know do a bridge um, you'll get a lot of information on bridging they're like all here yeah so it shows you how to set up a bridge how to uh, connect so everything I'm showing you you can find in the documentation but I'm just simplifying it I'm just picking and choosing the things that I will be using for now so I'll just go to not there to my Raspberry Pi the lines I will add are as follows connection so this says that we're about to start a new bridge so you can name it anything you want I'm gonna call it uh, do for digital ocean and we have to provide it an address the address for my droplet is this I'm gonna copy and paste that and the port is 183 this actually sets up the bridge but it won't work yet so because my cloud MQTT here if I go to Mosquito, mosquito.configuration. I have a password file set up. And if I do this, uh, if this looks familiar, it's because my password is NAS and password is password. Uh, just like I set up, uh, set it up in my last video, just kept it the same for simplicity's sake, which I will connect to here. So I will, uh, what we need to do is we need to provide it provide our connection the remote username and remote password. So the remote username is NAS and remote password is password. You should pick something that's uh, it's a little harder to guess. And then now we can subscribe to individual topics. If you look at the Mosquito configuration page here, it tells you you can use patterns to subscribe to topics or you can use the pound symbol, the hashtag, um, the hash symbol to subscribe to everything. So for this demo purpose, I'm gonna to subscribe to everything and show you how this works. So I'll do topic out zero and topic 
in zero. So this, these are two different types. So out and in controls whether you can publish or subscribe to them. So right now we're doing both. The other thing you can do is if you do topic both zero, it'll do both in and out. The reason I'm not going to use both is because I want to set up just uh, a one-way connection. I don't want my internal MQTT broker to publish to my external one because I don't want it I don't want to accidentally set up some kind of loop where I trigger something on the external one and it triggers something on the internal one and back and forth and back and forth and then both of my servers die. So I'll save that. I'm going to do service mosquito restart. I'm going to do sudo because it's Raspberry Pi. And the bridge is connected. So we will test this shortly. So first I'm going to add my cloud MQTT server here. So we'll do digital ocean to my MQTT lens, 183, blah, blah, blah. Uh, again, there's authentication set up, so I'll need to do a NAS and password. There I'm connected here. Let's maximize this. Boom, boom. Okay, that's my home assistant here, which will eventually become my uh, internal broker. So now we have my Raspberry Pi connected to my external broker. So this is my Raspberry Pi, this is my DigitalOcean server. So it is now subscribed to topics here. Since we subscribed to every topic, I can actually subscribe to, let's say, topic, you know, three, two, four, five, whatever. Subscribe to this. Take it down to two. And then from my DigitalOcean instance, I can publish to topic three, four, five. If I publish this, you'll see that it uh, appeared as a message on my internal MQTT service. I can keep publishing this, whoops. And you can see it's, it's fairly fast, uh, but if for some reason you're at a faraway internet place, you should expect to see some delay because you'll need to allow time for the messages to bounce back and forth your your mobile device to the DigitalOcean server to your home and back and forth. So there you go, The it is set up here. And I am going to, not this one, I'm going to just do a one-way sync. I'm going to, so I'm just going to subscribe to the MQTT service on my on my external DigitalOcean server uh, because I don't want messages published. I don't want to publish messages from internal to my external network if that makes sense. Before I save this, let me show you what I mean. If I subscribe to topic you know 999 on my DigitalOcean server, on my internal server, if I publish to topic 999, publish, you'll see that it published to my external. MQTT service, and I want to stop it from publishing there. Um, I don't want that to receive any messages. So I'll do this, save that, restart Mosquito, lost connection, connection established. Now, if everything went well, if I publish this, nothing happened. So my external service is no longer receiving publishes from my internal service. But if I subscribe, if I publish something to my external service, it is working, I have it collapsed, there we go. So if I publish this, hold on, hold on, we may need to resubscribe, there you go, yeah, for some reason I need to resubscribe, maybe I just need to restart both services. Um, there you go, and it's and it's working as expected. Uh, well, there you go. So I have this part and this part set up uh, between the last three videos. Um, these are will be set up. So uh, I've done some, you know, my garage door opener, which uses MQTT, uh, and my and my home assistant installation. Um, so I will eventually connect everything to my HasIO. So my home assistant. So these will automatically connect once I bridge my HasIO to uh, my external MQTT broker. So that's the end goal. Well, anyways, I hope you learned a little something about how to set up a bridge between two services um, and test them. You, could, you may also want to set up some kind of domain name so that when you are subscribing to your services, instead of using a host name, you can set up. You can just use a domain name like. Uh, 
uh, digitalocean. You know, easyprogramming.net or something. Um, set up an A record. That way, when if you ever have to move your external server somewhere else, you just have to update the A record and any services that is connected to your service um, to your MQTT broker, you won't have to update. You just have to update one place in the domain name. Um, that, that's something I plan on doing after I redo all of this for um, my non-demo purposes. If you have any questions, please ask. I'm more than happy to answer. Uh, and be sure to check out easyprogramming.net for more tutorials. Check out the Mosquito manual here. There's a lot of information. You know, set up SSL if you want. Uh, I will eventually do that as well, just to keep things secure so that no one's listening on listening in on any of my messages. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.